One. Hello, we are Supernova Scotia, proposing to you our new design for a residential unit located in the Alaska Lunar Settlement. Our new design will be housed within a dome and will be equipped to home four people. I will hand you over to our chief engineer. Thank you. Yes, we are going to be creating our settlement inside a dome. Now, this dome is going to be based over a large crater with a platform over the top of the curved surface. This is so that we'll be able to build on a flat surface. Now, underneath this platform, there's going to be masses of algae. The algae is going to take in carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. Now onto the houses. Now, each house is going to be open plan with a dining room, lounge and kitchen, as well as a guest bathroom. There are going to be vents around the outside to allow the oxygen to circulate through the house. On the second floor, there's going to be two small bedrooms, followed by one master bedroom and a family bathroom. Now, in the centre column, there's going to be a spiral staircase, and around the outside, there's again going to be vents for the oxygen to circulate. We're also going to allow the residents to have their own rooftop garden. We haven't drawn a diagram for this because we're going to let them design their own. Over to Alex. Hi, I'm going to tell you about some of the fun stuff you can do on the moon. First of all, we've got our own lunar ball league. It's like basketball, but we're utilising the low gravity, so we've got extra high baskets. We also have an observatory so you observe the Earth and all the cosmic wonders surround it, as well as a shopping centre, a theme park, and a cinema. And we've also got internet so you can connect to people back home on Earth. Here's Zara, who will tell you about food more. Hello. Within the domes, there will be their own farming areas where they can go grow vegetables, fruit, and sugar canes to ensure a healthy diet. There will also be water transport, transported from Earth to Moon for short term use, but for long term use, there will be the ice caps on the Moon will be used. Fish and goats will also be transported from Earth to the Moon for a protein source, and they are also convenient due to their size. There will also be a filtration, filtration system and waste to recycle wastewater. Nitrogen gas will also be transported from Earth to the Moon to produce an atmosphere of 80% nitrogen, 20% oxygen. Um, shutters and UV lights will be in place to control a day and night system. Heaters will be used to maintain and control a livable room temperature. Sewers will also be underneath the dome for to recycle wastewater. Here's Alan, our chief scientist. To start with, we will use a nuclear reactor to power our dome. But in the future, we will harness the power of nuclear fusion and we'll be using helium-3, which is abundant on the moon. Um, to power a nuclear reactor which will be just placed mm -hmm. outside the dome. Also solar panels will be located on another part of the moon where there is lots of sunlight and that will also be used as another power source. Hydrogen will be taken from the ice caps on the moon and used to power the rockets to and from it. Our dome will be made of an aluminized 12 layer polythene material which will um, shield us from radiation as well as having water run through it which is another form of radiation shielding. Demeron full body suits will be available in an emergency in case there is a radiation leak. To conquer the effects of lunar gravity, um, such as loss of bone density and muscle atrophy, we will be um, insisting that mandatory exercises involving munch course and fitness scenes are observed. We've been Supernova Scotia, we hope we'll be over the moon with our design. See you there. Yeah. Yeah.